In today's episode, you will learn how to create your Firebase account and create your first project to monitor a sensor in real time from anywhere around the world. As this is a getting started tutorial on how to use the Firebase with Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, that's why I decided to use a variable resistor as a sensor to keep things simple. While in my upcoming tutorials, I will use the Firebase in some intermediate and advanced level projects. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components used in this project are Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and a variable resistor or potentiometer. These components can be purchased from Amazon the components purchase links are given in the description. Open your internet browser and go to console.firebase.google.com. You can copy this link from the description. Click on the add project. Write the project name. Check all the boxes and then click on the create project. Click continue. If you click on the develop, you can see authentication, database, storage, hosting, functions and ML kit. But for now, first let's start with the project settings. Click on the service accounts. Click on the database secrets. Click show and copy. Then open the program and paste this in the Firebase authentication. Now for the Firebase host. Click on the database. Select Real-Time Database. Copy this link and paste it in the programming. Now our settings are completed. Now we can click on the Verify button to compile our program and check for any errors. Now let's discuss the Node MCU programming. Before you start programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the Node MCU board. Watch my previous tutorials on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The library links for the Firebase Arduino.h and ArduinoJSON.h are given in the description. While the ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h and SoftwareSerial.h or already explained in my previous tutorials. This is the Firebase host and this is the Firebase authentication which we simply copied and pasted over here. This is the Wi-Fi name and this is the password. Then I defined a variable of the type string. Integer VR is equal to A0. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module. Integer S data is equal to zero. The variable resistor value will be stored in S data. Just like Arduino, the Node MCU module also has white setup and while loop functions. White means that these functions are not returning any values, while the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication and 9600 is the baud rate. It is only used for the debugging purposes. Once the programming is completed, then you can simply comment this line. Pin mode VR input. 
set the as you pin of node mcu module as input then the wi-fi module ssid and password when the node mcu module is connected the local ip address is sent to the serial monitor then we activate the firebase using the firebase dot begin function which is taking two arguments as the input the firebase host and the firebase authentication then starts the while loop function as data is equal to analog read VR, read the variable resistor and store the value and variable as data. Then we convert the S data into a string using the string function and store the value and variable my string. Then using the firebase.setting function, we send the variable resistor value to the firebase and at the end we use a delay of one second is 1000 milliseconds or equal to one second. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. The variable resistor interfacing with the node MCU module is very simple. The middle leg of the variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the node MCU module, while the right and left legs of the variable resistor are connected with 3 volt and ground. First of all, power up the node MCU module. Click on the database. Then click on the real time database. You can see the value of the variable resistor, which is 479. Now, if I rotate the knob of the variable resistor, you can see a decrease in the value. This is how easily we can monitor a sensor in real time. The value is updated every one second as we have used a one second delay. Now if I turn off the node MCU module and delete the variable resistor value, you can see we are not receiving any value as the node MCU module is turned off. Let me again turn on the node MCU module, wait for a few seconds. Once the node MCU module is connected with the Wi-Fi, again we will start receiving the data. This is how easily we can use the Firebase to monitor a sensor in real time from anywhere around the world. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.